Many people aren't happy about their life circumstances and it comes to the surface when they talk to other people and when they think they've got a person who is operating on the same sort of level. So you end up with a simple interaction as I had yesterday where I went to a shop, it was a supermarket and the woman at the till, uh, because I said it was my day off and I was saying, well, you know, try and you know do things, make myself feel human after being out of work. And then she remarked that, well, at least it's a job and you know, it might be awful, but at least it's like, no, I'm happy with this. This is not so bad, the stress is very low, the money isn't great, but the stress is low, and you know, it could be far worse, but in many ways I should be grateful for what I have, and she seemed put off by that, perhaps because she's in a predicament herself where she's not very happy with her own situation, and as a result, obviously, she basically projected from herself what she expected to be the case, and perhaps what is the case with her and her work predicament, where she, as an older employee of a well-known supermarket chain, she is perhaps waiting for retirement. She's waiting for change. Perhaps she's waiting on a transfer. I don't know her life story. But in any case, she presumed that my situation, if in a job where it's fairly menial, is basically an unpleasant interaction. And it's like, well, there are worse things out there. I really shouldn't complain. I should try and find joy in what I do, because at least by doing something, I, in some ways, well, show myself to be more than nothing, but also by doing something and you are what you do, you actually end up showing your greatness in some way, shape or form because you're actually interacting with the world. You're doing your part. You're doing what you can do. And that's a great thing. But many people don't see it in that way. They see that as being an oversimplified or perhaps a overly uh, cherry-picked and, you know, rose-tainted spectacled view of things. But in many ways, we need to, if we intend to actually have some kind of value, to actually put our effort in and try and look on the bright side to actually achieve the things we intend to achieve. And you don't have to reach for the stars, but at least reaching for some kind of stability within yourself is a good start.